checking out the channel. I'm Justin, and as you can see, I am a guitar addict, and I am a consumer. Uh, I bought this guitar with my birthday money, uh, and so these are my honest opinions. I'll give you the good, the bad, and the ugly of this D'Angelico Premier Sweetwater exclusive uh, with Seymour Duncan jazz pickups in it. I wanted to get into uh, the blues. I figured out that's really my style and a little bit of jazz. I've been lot, watching a lot of Jack Roosh, uh, which if you follow his channel or on Patreon, you, that's actually the track I was jamming along to at the beginning here. And it's really good stuff there. He's got like a $5,000 guitar uh, that he plays. It looks like a 335. I wanted something in that vein. Um, but I've settled on this because uh, it's, it's a mini, right? It's a double cutaway mini DC. Uh, it's a little, a little bit bigger than a Les Paul. It feels feels like, uh, but it feels normal. It feels natural. I've had a Gretsch 5120, and it it was bulky. It was thick. I didn't really like the full hollow body. So this is semi hollow body with the uh, block down the middle, so you get a little extra warmth. And the jazz pickups, to me, that's what makes really makes this stand out and what makes this worth it and different are the, the jazz pickups in there. I've played a Firefly, I've played an IYV, and those are good in their own right, in their own price range. Um, but this, uh, this feels like um, it's even more expensive than it is. So I really love, I mean, take a look at the inlays. I mean, it's just, they just sparkle, they just shine. Uh, the headstock in the pictures looks a little weird. You get it in person, it looks really artistic and I like the way it looks in, in person. You've got locking uh, tuners, which uh, really convenient there. Now, the the good part is of course, the, the finish, it's just flawless. It, it looks great everywhere. You've got the binding on the neck. You've got the Ovenkel uh, fretboard, which I'm not a big rosewood fan. This is a little bit darker, little, it reminds me more of ebony. And so I like it better than rosewood. Uh, really nice binding, good fret ends all the way up, uh, nice and smooth. And um, it's, it's really a beautiful, flawless finish. So that's the good. The, the bad, uh, I don't know how bad it is, but the, the nut is synthetic. Now I bought, I paid $200 for an IYV uh, that came with a bone nut. So I'm like, you know, can we, this is, this is good. It's, uh, the strings don't catch and it's, the height is just perfect. I really like that, uh, but really you can't, you can't go with the bone nut. This is almost a thousand dollar guitar. What's up with that? Um, the the ugly to me and what is bothersome to me is this. Can you see how thin the screw is under the saddle here? Uh, that just looks like it's <laughs> asking for, to be broken there. Uh, See if you can see it. I mean, it's just really thin. Again, on the IYV, you get a really thick, uh, strong looking bolt right there. So that, those are the only two things really that uh, caught my attention. I've had the guitar for a couple months now and I'm falling more and more in love with it every day. Uh, now it's got a flatter fretboard radius than your Fender or your Gibson. Uh, Fender, a lot of, unless you get the Ultras, uh, a standard Fender is gonna have like a nine inch radius. A Gibson's gonna have 12, this is 14. So it's a little flatter. And uh, to me, it's easier to, to do more complicated things on. So it's a, it's a preference thing. The neck is, very close to my Gibson custom Les Paul 60s reissue. Uh, it's a slim taper. It's not, uh, I mean, and it, it kind of, it's somewhere between that Gibson and the Fender C shape. It's, it's very comfortable. I really like it. It's not too bulky and it's not too thin. It's not like an Ibanez. Uh, so I, I really like the, the neck shape there. Um, it does kind of have the Gibson, you know, uh, weak looking 
uh, place here and uh, you can see uh, it's got the, the joint uh, here, which is not awful. It's just, you know, some some guitars are gonna be solid all the way through. This is, this is not, I think it's a way of keeping the cost down. Uh, anyway, can this thing do blues? Well, you heard that at the beginning. Can it do jazz? Well, let's take a listen. Again, thanks for checking out the channel. Uh, like and subscribe. I'm happy to answer any questions that you have. Have fun, keep playing.